Hello and welcome to Kingsgate. ที่ที่เจ็ดเนี่ยที่ของจังหวัดของจังหวัดในประมาณ 4,000 กว่าตารางมีบริษัทที่รับกระถางปัดคำแรกของคำในนามที่จดทะเบียนในประเทศไทยชื่อว่าอัคราไมกับชื่อเหมือนชื่อว่าเหมืองชาตรีเป็นนิติบททั้งสองชื่อเดียวกันแต่บริษัทที่อยู่เหนืออัคราไมเนี่ยชื่อบริษัทคิงเกตถ้าเข้าไปในเว็บไซต์นะคะเว็บไซต์ KITS นะคะแล้วก็ TAT To prevent blockages by large boulders, crushed ore is fed by conveyor to a stockpile, and from there onto a second conveyor for delivery to the grinding mill. The grinding mill is a large drum-shaped vessel containing metal balls, which assist in reducing the rock to 75 micron size. The sag mill product is pumped to a set of cyclones. Which ensure only the finely ground material proceeds to the next stage of the processing, with coarse material returning to the sag mill. The crushed rock is fed into the first of a series of seven tanks, where, by the careful balance of chemicals, the gold and silver is dissolved from the rock, then adhered onto carbon particles, while the ground rock particles flow from tank to tank. The carbon with the adhered metal is removed from the first tank, and in special confined vessels, the metal is stripped off using a strong cyanide solution. The barren carbon is regenerated by heating for reuse in the tanks. The metal containing liquid is pumped to the electro-winning cells housed in the gold room, where an electric current causes the metal to be deposited onto large cathodes as a black sludge, which is then washed off. Filtered and dried, ready for smelting. 
This is carried out in a large furnace, and when the metal is sufficiently fluid, bars of combined gold and silver dore can be poured. Cyanide is used in the seven leach tanks to dissolve the metal from the ground rock. Before the leached ground rock is released to the tailing storage facility, the remaining cyanide is reduced in the cyanide reduction tank to levels that are safe for wildlife. The detoxified ground rock is pumped as a slurry through a pipeline surrounding the tailing storage facility. It is released into the facility through outlets spaced around the perimeter. Different outlets can be opened in turn to ensure an even dispersion of the tailings. Water is rapidly drained off the slurry, leaving the ground rock or sand to dry out further. A variety of bird and animal life use the area as a habitat and water source. Excess water is returned by pumping to the process plant for reuse. An on-site laboratory is equipped to analyze rock samples from the pit and daily samples from the processing plant. A well laid out office houses the management and staff where they are able to discuss plans for mining and processing on a regular basis. A first aid room is attached and an ambulance is also available for emergencies. Many extra buildings have been erected around the site including stores areas and workshops. Chattery Mine provides a meal at the canteen for all personnel each shift. This facility is provided by local contractors. An external contractor is responsible for all mine security, including access to the site and internal security. A higher security level is provided for access to the plant site, and higher again for the gold room. Akara Mining built an electrical substation near the mine site to provide reliable power from the tie grid for the plant. The mine is self-sufficient in other services, including water. A modern world standard gold mine has been constructed by Akara Mining in rural Thailand. Employment and expertise have been increased in the local area and will continue to be a feature of life to the benefit of the local community here for many years to come.